Welcome, FNews57 here. Once again, I'm back on my Series X console. And in today's video, I will be showing you how to unlock one of the rarest achievements in Back for Blood, which is Break Fest. Uh, so what you have to do for this achievement is kill a monstrous breaker after removing all of its armor. It's a rare achievement with less than a quarter of 1% unlock rate at the time of recording, and it is worth 15 gamer score. There's a couple of ways that you can do this, and I will be showing you the easiest way to do it. Of course, this is after the December update that has really made Nightmare difficulty playable, because this achievement, for the most part, like 98% has to be done in Nightmare difficulty. There is a very slim chance with the proper corruption cards, you could get an armored breaker to spawn on a veteran difficulty run, but the chances are extremely slim and you'll probably kill it without removing all of the armor, so you will not get the achievement. What you need to do is either create a run or join a run if you don't have the checkpoint unlocked for the mission in Act 1 called Clean Sweep. This is the mission that you have a guaranteed scripted fight for the breaker. Uh, so if you've beat Nightmare Difficulty or unlocked the checkpoint for Act 1, just simply select it and you'll notice this is pretty much the first checkpoint that you will unlock. So you have obviously mission one and then checkpoint one, which is a clean sweep. Go ahead and load that up and you have two options. Ideally, you have a team with you. If you have a team with you, it's a lot easier to do. Uh, after the December update, there is a solo offline campaign mode, which I will show you how to access that you can you're supposed to be able to unlock the achievement in, but it's not necessarily guaranteed. So the best way to do it is to bring a friend with you or possibly bring a random group, which is what we're going to do right now, or at least we're going to attempt to get a random group. You may get a match, you may not. It takes a while sometimes to find a game. Most people are not playing on Nightmare Difficulty anymore. You will also need a deck for this particular thing. I will be using my bomb deck. This is my boss killer deck. And basically the big thing here is you need the major upgrades to explosive and accessory damage. And then you also need like multiple upgrades in terms of the ability to carry more offensive slot items so you could use like the double grenade pouch the grenade pouch if you wanted to um, this is mostly if you were playing with a team but you could also use surplus pouches which would give the entire team one offensive slot it's really personal preference at the end of the day you don't get to pick a whole lot of cards i believe you get five cards um, so keep that in mind. I'll show you as soon as we get in here. Obviously, if you've been playing from the very first mission, then you would have more cards out of your deck available to use. Currently, at the time of recording, it is possible to use the ghost deck uh, glitch if you want, but uh, that would require that you have another person host the game. And as far as the achievement goes, the achievement is a little bit buggy. So while we're trying to get into this match, which if it doesn't find us a team within a certain amount of time, it will put us in with bots. But uh, what you want to do with this is remove every piece of the breaker's armor, and then you want to kill it. So you can do that, and the easiest way to do that is with explosives. However, if you have too much damage or you have the ghost deck or someone else necessarily gets the kill or there's a number of things that can go wrong with it but we should be able to get the achievement because we are in a public lobby and nobody joined us unfortunately so uh we might not get the achievement if it doesn't work right but i'll show you what we need to do as far as characters go 
you're probably going to want either Walker, because there's a damage bonus with this character, and he starts with a frag grenade, or Hoffman, because Hoffman gains one offensive inventory slot. Either one will work for the achievement, it doesn't really matter. Then go ahead and select your explosives deck, which obviously will give you your starting card. You don't need to have any special other cards, burn cards. Uh, the corruption cards obviously will be random. Some of the corruption cards make it more difficult than others. So just keep that in mind. If you want to use a burn card, you can. You get your starter card. And then you get five card draws so we can take all of our straight accessory damage. Um, then you can take your actual offensive slot capacity. You could use weak point damage if you wanted to, but uh, that's not necessarily the best idea. And if you do want to use a burn card, you can use a burn card. However, most of the burn cards honestly aren't going to help you out that much, except for maybe starting with some additional copper. That would be about all that uh, I really could recommend at that point so the burn cards aren't really something you have to worry about too much once you get in i do recommend that you grab a decent weapon that you're comfortable with uh personally i like the m4 you could also use the smg the smg is really good simply just because it shoots a lot of bullets so it can chew off the armor real quick without doing a whole lot of damage Depending on the upgrades that you get, if you're lucky, you'll get an offensive slot or offensive item upgrade. There also might be a good gun in the store for you to buy. If you're unlucky, which this is about as unlucky as we can get right here because we have quick slots and that's really useless to us. So we're just going to buy the five grenades. And then it's not a bad idea to go ahead and give yourself like a bottle of pain pills and if you want because we can pull back we really shouldn't need to but we can you can go ahead and drop individually those five grenades on the ground come back and buy another five grenades and if you see something that would help you out in the store you can go ahead and buy it so move speed stock isn't bad and we'll put the bullet stumble on even though that's not really going to help us we don't have to do too much, we just have to kill a few enemies. What I recommend that you do is you only, since we're going to eventually have a storm, we might need to fall back, so take the grenades, drop them on the ground further up, and go back for the other grenades. Obviously, if you have, like, green grenades, rare grenades, uh, or you have a lot more grenade slots with a team, it would be easier to do. And we are supposed to be able to get the achievement solo now, but there is still a chance that it may not work out. So the reason why we dropped the grenades here and we dropped them individually, when dropping stacks of grenades over three, there is a chance that the grenades will just disappear and become one grenade. Now, at this point, depending on the corruption cards that you have, you're more than likely going to have to clear a various number of ridden you shouldn't have too many special ridden after the december update and the bots usually don't shoot you in the back you can kind of drag the enemies around and just make sure that you have ammo uh, you might get lucky and find another weapon like this tech 9 which is really good for stripping the breaker's armor but at the end of the day, all you really need to do is you need to clear out all of the Ridden and then get ready for the scripted Breaker fight. Now, this is the same Breaker fight as the Breaker fight on this mission on Recruit. The only difference is that on Nightmare, this is going to be the Armored Breaker that is obviously going to do a lot more damage plus, you know, have the armor. And we were able to despawn that horde timer. So, trying not to shoot our allies here. Try not to take that much damage. Of course, if you do have 
some special ridden to deal with. Like, we have the tall boy horde that we have to deal with. And you can see that they have armor as well. That's going to take a little while, but eventually bring them down. Or the bots will bring them down. You may have another, like, ranged enemy to deal with. And then the breaker will spawn. When the breaker slams the ground... Go ahead and use your frag grenades on it and try to bring the breaker away from where the bots are shooting it and then just finish it off with the frag grenades. If you did it correctly, you should immediately unlock your achievement. Uh, taking a look at the breaker, though, you can kind of spot where it has its armor spots on the legs the chest and then usually the upper shoulders which reveal the weak point uh, if the achievement does not unlock immediately the achievement should have already unlocked right there but if the achievement does not unlock immediately for you there's a couple of things that you can try you can go ahead and try completing the mission because the mission is actually not that long. And you can back up and get your other grenades that we had from earlier because they should not have despawned. Or you can die, use the one continue, which then will let you retry the breaker fight. You can complete the mission and the achievement should unlock for you when you reach Fort Hope. Or you'll have to actually go into the solo mode specifically if you didn't have a team. So keep in mind those are a few things that you can check. It's also a good idea that you can go to your achievements, see the official club, go to the official club, and if the achievement is not there at the top as being unlocked. Alright, so after returning to Fort Hope, you'll see that we did not unlock the achievement which means that there's one of two things that occurred either a we did not remove all of the breakers armor before the explosive damage killed it or b because we did not have a second player with us we were not able to unlock the achievement so in order to do this you actually are going to need to go into the new december solo mode which requires you to sign out of the game, go to play offline, which will sign you in offline, and then you only have a campaign option. Now, all of your campaign progress will be transferred, at least it is supposed to, so any difficulty unlocks, checkpoints, cards, uh, burn cards, everything like that that you have will be transferred so you can set it up for act one nightmare difficulty clean sweep and you can go ahead and create a run now in this mode you are supposed to be able to unlock the achievements without any other players in the lobby so you can go ahead and do the exact same thing that we just did exact same setup and this time we're just going to try to double check that all of the armor is in fact off of the breaker. Uh, I'm 99% confident that we had all of the armor off of the breaker in the first place, but it doesn't hurt just to be a little bit slower with that. Uh, so keep in mind the corruption cards do change. Like for this one, this is a really annoying one. You have toxic spill. Uh, if you wanted to use a burn card, you could... Um, I would say the most useful one for this would be the hazard suit, and I have plenty of them, so we're going to go ahead and use that. Same process as before, except this time we're going to grab the Uzi just because we have more ammo, and we can chip away at the damage a little easier that way. You can also get the offensive item upgrade. Again, you can get items or slots if you're lucky. It's not really a guarantee as to what you're going to get, but we got lucky, so that's going to give us even more damage. And then with the remaining health, if you want, you can drop the grenades and buy more grenades, 
or you can simply buy like a bottle of pain pills that's a good idea and then just buy like one or two extra grenades and leave the other ones back at the safe room which is exactly what we're going to do here so this modifier does make it more annoying because obviously our health is going to be chipping away slowly now i did put on the resistance card so it's a little bit slower on chipping our health away but it is still going to chip our health away so this time we don't really have time to search for anything else we just need to go as quickly as possible we don't have a breaker horde or tall boy horde to deal with but unfortunately there is this obscure fog that does make your vision a little bit more blurry and annoying and my controller batteries are low which is really terrible timing it is also possible to use like a propane canister if you use a propane canister you can use that you don't have to use all grenades but you can start to use that for damaging the breaker and I'll try to show you the armor on the breaker specifically so there's always going to be a horde it does not matter what you do there will be this horde before the breaker spawns but what enemies are in the horde will be different and you can kind of see like the spots that are covered in armor so obviously there's the breakers legs the breakers shoulder the breakers back and what we want to do is we just want to nade it and blow off that armor but we want to make sure that there's no armor anywhere else on the breaker so it's a good idea to pull the breaker away but you do have the storm to deal with and if you do get hit by the breaker then make sure that you use your your health there uh, or use your pain pills because the breaker will tend to go after you it does not look like there's any armor anywhere left on the breaker so feel free to finish it off with grenades and there is your break fest achievement really easy to do it's just a matter of making sure that the armor is removed and if you're gonna do it in a solo match uh, or by yourself because no one else joins it looks like i can confirm that doing it in a public lobby does not count for the achievement but you just seen us unlock the achievement there and then if you go to the official club you'll now be able to check that your achievement is in fact unlocked and there's the achievement art for it i really hope that the video helped so that you can get this rare achievement with a lot less frustration than before Remember to go ahead and slap a like on the video and share it with your friends as that greatly helps me out with the searchability of videos here on YouTube. Until next time, stay frosty.